A very big hello to my wonderful KCV champions. I hope all of you are doing absolutely amazing. So the moment has come, uh, which we are finally waiting for, and that is your new information brochure. And the new information brochure comes up with something very, very new. So they have been saying, what is new this year? So let's see that. And it's super important. So make sure you listen to me very carefully. So we all know that there is a registration process. After that, you have application form filling process. And after that, we believe we get the application form. That is how it usually goes. But over here, it is clearly mentioned that for some of us, the application form is not going to be directly printed even after registering, even after filling up the whole form out there. And for some, it will be printed as well. So why is that happening and what are the basic things that we need to know? Let's get to understand that. So my dear children, let's see for whom application will not be printed, first of all. Okay. Candidates who claims eligibility clause A or basically who falls under clause A and claim reservation for having studied in 10 full academic years in Kannada medium for first standard to 10 standard. So basically you are claiming for the Kannada medium quota and also you are uh, what do you call uh, coming under clause A. Okay. So in that particular condition, you would have to wait. Also, 10 full academic years in rural areas from first standard to 10 standard. That means if at all you are someone who is claiming for rural area quota, then also you would have to wait. 10 years from first standard to 12th standard for Tulu, Tamil, Telugu, Kodua linguistic minority reservation. So if at all your mother tongue is either of these languages and you are claiming that you have studied in Karnataka from uh, basically for 10 years, Okay, um, and you're claiming linguistic minority reservation and also you're coming under clause A, then also you would have to wait. Now, religious minority, such as Muslim or Christian uh, reservation, if at all you're claiming for that. And again, if at all you fall under clause A, this is all for clause A. Okay, and in this particular condition, you will not get your application form directly. For these candidates, after submitting the application, only the claim slip now this is super important you will receive the claim slip uh, to download initially the status claimed and verified claimed but not verified or not claimed will be printed on this particular claim certificate out there at this stage there is no provision to print the complete application so ma'am when will we get the complete application that is also a very important question right so just a second i'll move it down to a highlighter because i think this is hiding up some of the important information out there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we have the claim slip out there. So, these candidates should get their documents verified by submitting all the documents at the college where you guys are presently studying. Or you can go to any government college to basically get your documents verified. Now, after verification in the respective college, the candidates will be allowed to log into the portal and print their CET 2026 application form. Until then, you guys are not allowed to basically, or basically you will not get the provision to download your application form. So if at all you're worried, my other friends are getting, but not me, just understand that you have to get your uh, things verified, your documents verified in the present college that you're studying or in any government college. Now, candidates claiming for the remaining eligibility classes such as B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, no in the application should print the application on the candidate portal after verifying the documents in KEA. So, for you guys who fall under any of these clauses starting from B to O, you guys will get your application form later on because for you, the uh, what you call document verification has to be done in KEA. Now, the schedule for the verification will be given at a later date. So, be patient, uh, wait for some time, they will give you the schedule and accordingly, you can go ahead for the document verification process in KEA. Now, with that being said, we should know who will get the printout of the application form. Let's see who are those lucky ones. So after confirming the details of the prescribed seven years of study, including 10th class or second PUC or your 12th class for government seats under LGBT class A. So if at all you are someone who is confirming all the details that you have studied for seven years. Okay. And in that seven years, you should be either passing out class 10th from Karnataka or basically second PUC. Okay. 
and you are not claiming for any other things such as rural kannada kota no you are not uh, claiming for any of it you are just falling under clause a and basically you are confirming all the details of studying 7 years including 10th or basically second puc uh, the state is successfully verified will be mentioned in the claim certificate and the cet application form will be made available for printing on the candidates portal so you need not need you need not be worried such candidates will not be required to visit any office or college for document verification i hope that's clear yeah now after your kcet 2026 results are declared the verification slip can also be downloaded so my dear children you need not worry please make sure you have your application form safe with you have a print out of it and keep it safe for others also while you are registering for the whole process if at all if at all there is any important thing that pops up in the screen make sure you take a picture of it at least okay you might not be able to take the screenshot make a picture take a picture sorry and keep it safe i hope it helps so if at all you have any other doubts which are there definitely let us know uh, in the comment section below we are here to help you out and if you think that this video had helped you well do not forget to hit on the subscribe button also my dear children everyone who is uh, what do you call preparing for kcet we have launched the abhyas kcet test series it's a super important test series for all of you who are going to write the examination because thousands of the children have got the best opportunity they got into the best colleges out there so if at all you're looking for that course the link will be given in the description section as well wishing you all the best please take care bye bye